Greetings and welcome to a new video. So guys, here is some good news for you. If you want to try iOS 17 beta on your devices right now, so Apple has made it officially free for everybody to download the IPSW or the restore images for iOS 17 or iPad OS 17 beta. We will head to the official website for Apple and you can see that you can now use any of your Apple ID which is completely free. You can see the cost here, cost free and the benefits are that you can try out and get the restore images for OS beta releases. You can see it right here. You will have to simply head to this link developer.apple.com slash account. So here you can simply sign in with any of your Apple ID which is completely free or if you don't have one you can simply create yours from here. Also in some cases if it does not work for you you'll have to create one from here but for me it worked just fine. So now I will quickly sign in. Alright so after signing in with your any normal free Apple ID you will land at this page. And if you scroll down, you will see software downloads. So now hit view downloads. You will see the restore images for iOS 17 beta and iPad OS 17 beta right here. So for example, just hit here and now select your iPhone from here. So for example, I have this iPhone SE second generation. Just hit it and the IPSW for iOS 17 beta will start downloading. So wait for it to complete. I have already downloaded it. Now simply connect your iPhone via USB and then open iTunes. And now if you are on Windows, press and hold the shift key. And if you are on Mac, press and hold the option key. And then left click on update. Then select the IPSW and hit open. So now you are getting this error at the time of making this video. And I have updated my iTunes to the latest version, but I'm still getting this error. So in the future, this method will work for you when iTunes is updated to support iOS 17. But don't worry, I will show you an alternative method also in this video. Also, if you want to restore your device, please note that restoring your device will erase all data. So please back it up first. The process is simple. Press and hold the shift key and options key on Mac. Left click and then simply turn off find my iPhone select the IPSW and then hit OK. The alternative method is to use 3U tools. 3U tools is also a completely free software and you can get it for free from its official website. Scroll down and get it for your Windows PC. Next simply open 3U tools and make sure that iTunes is already installed or it will not work. Then simply hit smart flash and then select local firmware from here then left click import and then simply hit the IPSW that you have got hit open and it will be imported now if you want to retain your data and you want to simply upgrade you will have to click retain users data and then hit flash or if you want to restore your device with erasing all data you can use the quick flash mode from here then hit flash and then your device will be upgraded to iOS 17 beta by simply hitting the flash button. I am keeping this device on iOS 13.5.1 so I will cancel it from here. But now you have the idea on how to do it. Again please be careful when using quick flash mode. Back up your data first because quick flash mode erases all data. That's all for this video. If you still have questions, ask in the comment section. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care of yourself.